Hey everybody, I'm Lex. I'm Jordan with PDQ.com. We're going to take you through all the things you can do with an install step. I'm just going to list them real quick and then we'll go through them. we got batch files, Visual Basic scripts, EXEs, MSIs, registry edit files, and PowerShell scripts. So I'm going to open a new package. A new package, we're going to add an install step. Now the great thing about this, once again, is we can go select from our repository. Thank you. I've got some install files here, an example of each of these. So we're going to start out with an MSI. This is probably the easiest and the biggest slam dunk. Your MSI files, because of the extension MSI, we already know what uh, parameters to put with this. So if you look under MSI options, we always mark this as an install, restart never, and then to run it quietly. Yep. If you ever need to change that, sometimes you'll need to go down, either change it in the options here or go to the custom command line and change it there. It's a rare occasion, you shouldn't have to do that very often. We have run into a few where it's necessary, but it shouldn't be very often. Another important part of this is the additional files. If it's a little bit more complex and it has to pull in other files, you want to load them uh, right here in the additional files and, and put them in there so it has the, the information to draw from. The cab files, those kind of things. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Now the next one, you want to pick the next one? Sure, I'm going to go with uh, PowerShell because it's the best. Oh, uh, doesn't doesn't <laughs> doubt that you would you would say that. All right, so PowerShell is exactly what it sounds like. It's the uh, best language in, in Microsoft. Uh, you can use it if you do any sort of install from there. It just runs from here. Uh, it does, by default, run under non-interactive, uh, no profile, and then uh, bypass. Just to show Execution you guys that. Bypass, yep. Now, if you needed to add parameters to that, again, the best place to add those parameters, let's say it was taking some arguments mm -hmm. into your script, add those on the parameter line, it will append it to the end of your command line. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yep. All right, well, let's uh, get back in our way back machine and go to the 90s and talk about a Visual Basic script. Again, VBS. You can run your Visual Basic scripts. Um, uh, so, me personally, the first step is rewrite it in another language. <laughs> but if you are going to use VBS, there are some of the similar uh, parameters in here. And again, because of the uh, extension on that file, we're going to run a C script exe on that. And again, if you want to need any uh, arguments or things added at that point oh, on, our, on your parameter lines where you yep. put those. Yep. And then it's just, I guess, two forward slashes and a B. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, so and then let's see, what else have we got? Let's go in and probably the second most uh, commonly used one is an EXE. Excellent. Now, EXE files are great. They're install files. The issue with EXEs, you need to find the silent parameters. It's going to be different for everyone that has it. Depending on your vendor. So, again, you Google if we were doing a, a Firefox install, we Google silently install mm -hmm. Firefox. It should give you the switches. And again, those parameters, you would add those on the parameter line like a front slash S. Mm -hmm. And again, you can it see here. Add it to the command line on the bottom. It does append it to the end. So, and then let's also take a look at the last two, which is the batch file. Again, a batch file. We're just running command exe. It's your batch file there. If we put a lot of the the default in there, forward slash s is. Oh no, forward slash s is because we didn't delete it when we're done. We need to get rid of that. Yep. There we go. It's, it is. It is on uh, default. In, in our command line, we just had it twice because we didn't uh, clean up properly. I put switched. in the parameter. Yep. And again, it's going to run the command exe for you. And then finally, uh, registry. Any registry tattooing or changes you want to do your registry. Because it's a reg file, again, we're going to run a reg edit exe. Uh, front slash and, and this one is, if you're doing a single machine, this is great. But if you're looking for all computers, are probably best using your group policy. What he said. <laughs> Anyway, those are the things you can run from an install step in PDQ Deploy. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex. Enjoy.